All right, so for this third day, um, I am going to do one more short animation and I'm going to finalize my animation and show you where you're going to turn it in at. At this point, I have my eye that blinks, my tongue that kind of goes in and out or rolls up, and the feet that move. Um, initially, I was gonna have the little hairs and I still might do that on my own, but for the sake of time, that's not gonna happen. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to rotate these spikes. Now I need to see what I had going on because I had like some extra spikes. This shape can be deleted. And I'm gonna name this spike. And spike two. And I am going to, so I'm gonna take these spikes and there's a specific reason why I'm not merging them yet. But I'm gonna take these two spikes and I'm going to drag them up under this one. And I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna make two more of these. And these two are gonna go down here. And I'm going to do that one more time. And they are gonna go down here because I need spikes to go with the other ones. And originally I thought I was going to have them rotate, but I would like to show you guys a color change animation. So I am going to have them change color. So in the initial frame, they are going to be red. So I'm going to take these three layers and do what? I'm going to go ahead and merge those. In these two, I want to go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to change then that one to green, and I'm going to change this one to purple. Now, why don't I see the color change? There's a very good reason why I don't, and I'll be able to see it here in a second, but why don't I see the color change? Because of the layer on top of it. So this layer was essentially hiding our color, and it's important to point that out because this could happen to a student. I'm going to merge these, and I'm going to turn that one off, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to change my color as I try to remember what colors I had. So it is important that I change those colors prior to merging them together, because when I merge them together, then it would be more challenging. It's not that it's not possible, but it would be more challenging to change the color. And you know, I should have done that. So my other ones all have different. So there it's yellow and blue, but here I have two red. So I should probably change that. So if you do have the case where you've already merged, you can use your magic wand and get some selections. The problem I'm gonna have here is it's selecting more than the spike because the red spike blended into the background. So for me to truly change the color of that red one is going to be a little challenging. So I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm going to change this one. And let's see, what color do I want to make that one? Oh, well, maybe I'll make it cyan so it blends in here and here. And I would need to use my paint bucket or paint brush then to fill that one in. I'm not sure why we can't cooperate. No, no, I don't want another one. Magic wand, select there. Now let's just paint bucket that, please. Well, that's the case. Why won't we stay on the paint bucket? There we go. All right, so then I have these three with my underscore A underscore. I can go to my file, export as a GIF, and here's where I can make any adjustments to speed that I may or may not want to make. And remember, I can't adjust it individual. It's just the overall. So I think that is a fine size. I will hit save. That is going to take it and bring it down. 
then not only the screenshot of your final animation, including your layers, so you need that screenshot, If I go into classroom, you're going to use the same slideshow that you've been using. I think I have one, yep. Of my slides from last semester, I will, for demonstration purposes today, add one to this one. Control V to paste my picture. But then I also am going to go to insert video. Oh, I might have to put it in my Google Drive first. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick this project that I just downloaded. I'm going to have to upload it to my Google Drive first. And now I can insert video, my drive. And I'm going to wait for it. OK, maybe if I hit stop recording, it'll show up. All right, so those watching in video world, you don't know how long I've set to like wait for this time to elapse. And it's still not bringing my video up. So I am going to actually close my screencasting software and assuming it inserts without a problem, you'll see it in my slideshow and everything is good, but you should be able to find it right in your drive. Um, if anything needs changed, I will stick a note out there. Thanks. Have a good one.